internet. So as you may or may not be able to tell based on my general essence as a human, I am not a doctor and neither is my mom. Although she can do anything because she's amazing because she's my mom. That being said, despite what I like to think about myself, my word is not golden. Everything you're about to hear is based on personal experiences from the past. And if having ADHD has taught me anything, it's that everyone's brains work differently. So please make sure to always check in with your doctor. Also, always check in with the doctor because he's really cool. <laughs> okay, but the word vomiting that is about to ensue should be helpful in some way to you, I hope. But I guess there's only one way to find out. Nailed it! Boom! So long. There's questions about when mom found out that I was diagnosed, which we've, we've alluded to briefly in other videos. Also, when I kind of realized what it was to really, really meant to have ADHD, I think is a, the, that's kind of a, a good starting point for. Yeah, and I think I, I think I should have known early, early on when Jen was an infant. She was she was my colicky colicky child, but I remember a specific incident when she I think she was about three years old, and. I literally had to chase her outside because she was putting on new, I think she had just turned three, it was a new outfit that she got for her third birthday and she was insisting on wearing it that day. And Is it the plaid skirt outfit? I think that's what it was, yes, yes. I and, didn't remember. Um, and literally, I'm like, yeah, come on, sure. Jen, yes. So I, I remember that saying, oh my God, I've got my hands full here. Yeah. You know, and, and um, at that point I looked at it as an assertive, personality. So, okay, um, I need her to be assertive as she's a woman in this world. Assertive, being assertive isn't a bad thing. Only when she's dealing with her mother, it could be a challenge. We um, really worked through that one, did we? Like I said, I think, you know, early on, I should have had clues. A yeah, little but more. kids are hyper. Right, but I, I remember at one point being um, at a beach family vacation and one of my friends saying to me, wow, she's a lot of work. And it wasn't, and this was still when you were younger. This was probably when you were third or fourth grade. So you were still like, trying to figure out how to cope and deal with, you know, what with exactly what everything was, and for us to all understand it still. It was still an understanding process. And I think in retrospect, I think I could have learned more about the diagnosis. And I thought I was doing well learning about it, but I think there's still more, and I think in... in um, I also think more has come out since I... I think there's a whole lot more information out there available, and I would just avail myself to as much of that as possible. And then, for me, I knew I had ADHD as soon as I diagnosed and I okay you have ADHD I had no idea what that meant my parents presented it to me as nothing more than just a thing like I didn't understand that it even made me different for the most part but I was always kind of oblivious anyway and then I remember I specifically remember being in the library in my middle school and for some reason I was looking through a book on mental illness god only knows why and I saw ADHD and I, and I like I think I came home and I was like mom do you know that ADHD is a mental illness like I had no idea I was so confused by the fact that because that was never it was never presented to me as an excuse or a reason to not be doing everything that I was doing. A lot of people have issues being like, "Well, it's is it an excuse for things? It's not an excuse. It's an explanation." Is how I look at it. I'm not saying that it's okay that I do these things, but this is why I do them, and you need to understand why I have to do things certain ways. And that was something that the the whole not an excuse and explanation thing didn't come to me until like college. I always felt like I was using it as an excuse use for a long time and then kind of in college kind of came. I think I did study education briefly in college before dropping it and uh, I developed an understanding of the explanation versus an excuse and things like that. And I think early on we didn't want Jen to be able to use it as an excuse. This was our not necessarily knowing everything about it so that's probably why we said this is what it is, this is what we can do for it, you know we'll just go forward with everything. Again as she got older she learned more about it. I think if you can get your children to understand more about what it is when it's age appropriate earlier on, I think it really will help in their long-term ability to understand it. I think understanding what it is and how it works helped me understand what I needed to do socially speaking. To remain being myself while also being more socially acceptable kind of. And part of me not getting a full understanding that that Jen's brain truly works differently and that's something that didn't come to me until later on in her uh, probably more when she was in high school when i started understanding that it was working yeah. differently wow that was super funny or interesting or insightful or wow me and or me and mom thank you for sharing that information so i noticed that none of these q a sessions seem to have 
endpoints in when we're answering questions. So here's our endpoint. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you really liked it. Uh, the rest of this month is going to be a lot of Q&A videos as much as possible. So yay! Just a guided tour around this end slate too. We've got last video, next video, and the playlist with all the videos in it. Also all of my social media. Cute little Santa hats on it. And Elsa! So that's cool. Um, thank you for watching again. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Yes, this is the same for every video. Maybe I'll change it eventually. I studied at... You can tell it's getting late.